Hi folks and welcome to this episode of Michael's Backyard Marina. Did a lot of work this morning. I like to get up early, hit the day. By the time I hit noon, I've already got six, seven hours worth of work done. That's the way to live life, baby. Anyway, I'm excited today because I got up early. I went and hauled off 2,000 pounds of scrap steel from behind uh, the Backyard Marina shop here. And I hauled off an old bay liner that I've had sitting around here all winter. I finally got it to the dump. And uh, it's a proper way to dispose it, take it to the dump. They dispose of it properly. And so I decided to treat myself. Sorry if it's a little windy out here. Uh, see my beautiful hair flapping in the wind. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, I decided to treat myself today. And some people might not call this a treat, but I do. You guys know I like tinkering around with old motors and, and playing around with them. You've seen a few of my videos. You know I like to be creative and make something from nothing. But today, I went out and bought this. Check it out. Oh, no, he didn't. Yes, he did. He bought him an FS56RC steel weed eater. Because why? My weed eater of 18 years plus died finally. Uh, it didn't die because it died. It died because a primer bulb went bad on it and the gas lines were all dried, on it, out, dried out on it. So I went and got me a brand new steel from my local hardware store and, and, if you buy a six pack, now this looks like a four pack because I've already mixed up two gallons of gas. If you buy a six pack of their chainsaw oil, full synthetic engine oil for chainsaws and power tools, it's biodegradable even. Uh, the cool part is it extends the warranty by double. Normally these have a one year warranty. Now I'm in the system with a two year warranty. I'm not sponsored by steel. I paid my own hard earned cash for this, but we're gonna try it out today and we're gonna see how well it works. Now these here are supposed to have a bearing in the head here, which is better than the bushing. And this is a clutched uh, setup as well. So when it's idling, we're not spinning. Look at that. I love the clutched ones. First time I've ever had a clutched one. There again, my stuff was over 18 years old. Now, Whooping. Good stuff. Anyway, yeah, I get excited about little things, folks. That's just who I am, and that's what I do. But let's do some weed eating. Let's make the backyard marina. It's looking a little rough around the gills right now. So we need to do a little, before I do some mowing, I'm going to do some trimming to make this place look a little bit better. Let's just see how well it trims. Let's see how well it does. Look at this area back here. Oh yeah. This looks like a job for a weed eater
looks a lot better, I'd say. This concrete edge is hard to mow. Let's give the weed eater a go. Weeds in my lean to? Oh no, they didn't. <laughs> More weeds near my rinker? How dare they? Didn't know if I'd like this shoulder strap, but uh, never had one with my other one, but that's uh, kind of enjoyable not have to carry all the weight. There it was. I stalked it for hours, and then I snuck up on it and eliminated the weed. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Holy smokes, looks like we lost a big limb. That limb's probably 10, 12 inches in diameter. Just to put it in perspective, that tree right there, that base is probably a good 36 inch plus across. That's a big tree. Looks like I'll have to get the old chainsaw out and do a little yard cleaning there. Let's go find some more weeds. The old pet cemetery needs a little bit of cleaning up, that's for sure. Let's clean it up now. No quitting that still I tell you that that thing will eat through anything until I let the string get too short I got to fix that now all right I just wanted to re-mention this because I missed it on the first camera shot when I first did the intro and the first looking at this thing is that this particular one has a straight shaft and there's some that have a, like a curved shaft that comes down here curved my understanding on these steels the curved ones and there's a lot of curved ones that don't have a bearing in the head they just have a bushing that won't last as long now, my understanding is that the steel with the curved head, with the bushy, still has a clutched motor, which is fine, but I paid up a little bit more. It was like 139 versus 199 to get one with a bearing, a bearing head. And you can tell that moves really nice and smooth. Cool part too, I really like this shoulder strap. I've never used one like this before. And I'm probably not even wearing it right. I don't know, am I? Ah, maybe I'm supposed to be like this. Maybe that's it. No, I don't like that. That's cutting off my carotid artery. Yet. No, it didn't fall down. No, it's gotta, it's gotta be different. I was wearing it earlier today. Yeah, see that there? That don't pull against nothing. And I can just go, and then it's like, what? Guitar steel solo? Anyway. All kidding aside, I'm really happy with this purchase. I burned out about half the string on the on the head here. I'm going to show you a little something about this head. It's really easy. But I burned about a half a tank of gas off, got all the trimming done around the property, and I am stoked about this thing. Uh, starts nice. What? What? <laughs> kill switch right there just a momentary switch to kill it safety trigger lock here for pulling the trigger we'll let you pull it once you got that on which is fine but tickled folks tickled i am stoked about having this guy now i'm going to show you some stuff on this head on the trimmer head 
we're doing it right outside here. No tools except for the one they provided. It's in my shirt pocket here. I'll get it in a second. It's stuck. Oh, come on. Why? The struggles are real. What you're, what you're seeing is not fictitious. This is a real struggle of a human being trying. All right, got the tool. It's this little guy here. It's got like a Torx head on one end. I have to, yet to figure out what that's for, but it's got a hole. Oops, sorry, hit the camera stand. Kick the camera stand. There's a hole right here. You can put that in and you rotate this until it falls in a hole and you can unscrew this. Now this has left hand threads. So looking at it from this end, righty loosey, lefty tidy. Anyway, if you decide to take the, the head off, you don't have to take the head off. The other cool part about this is you, let me show you these right here. See that little flat spot right there? And there's one 180 from it right there. I'm gonna show you some really cool and nice engineering here. And I don't brag about engineering much, unless it's good engineering. But we're gonna pull, you push in on this. It was easier on the bench. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, I gotta push down here. That would help. So push down here, lift up. Push down toward the bottom of the slot here. Maybe you can even push in there if you wanted to, but right here at the bottom seems to work okay. Push in slightly, and then you can pull this cap off. Now you can see the wire, see the how that's done. Now this is cool. I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna put this devil tool back in my pocket so it gets lost again. I'm gonna pull this out. Just turn it a little bit, and she comes right out. Because I wanted to show you how this is wound. This is wound. Now, if you're looking at the button end. This is the button that kisses the ground. It's wound around counterclockwise. And as you can see, it's got two separate rolls there, which is nice because the other one I had, you wound them both together and they get heated up, they tangle up and they end up sticking. Of course, there you go. That was 18 years ago engineering. This is brand new engineering. Now what I really like about this, really, really like, I noticed because I had let these get too short these little uh, tabs get too short sticking out of here and I had to actually open it up first time I had to figure out how the heck to get in there so the cool part is you can put this back in and then the way they've engineered this is you can bring this there's little tabs little slots right there you bring that one out there and that one out there just like that isn't that slick That, and they stay right in. You don't have to try to feed them through a hole. It's a half hole. Can you see that? That's a half hole. That is so genius. So once you wind your own some new cord nice and tight, then you just take this thing, line up your little dew floppers you had in there before. Whoops, it works better if you have this thing kind of pushed and locked down a little bit. It helps, it makes it easier for you. Then you just take this little dew flopper here Snap it back in place. Look at that. It don't get any simpler than that. Now you could try off, try out all kinds of different cords, different weed whacking cords, cord, uh, whatever you call this stuff. Heavy duty uh, trimmer string, whatever. You can try it out. Like I said, I highly, highly recommend this one. Um, somebody's gonna have to uh, do something really cool to beat what I've witnessed here. And this one, I have a feeling, if you do everything I've done. Now, what I always do, folks, fuel. Run the recommended fuel. 50 to 1 mixture. I like the full synthetic stuff. Uh, steel, that's a great bargain with steel. You buy a six pack, you extend your warranty by two more, or by one more year, it doubles to two years. Now, normally you buy a product and you gotta buy an extended warranty. Well, buying that six pack is kind of like buying an extended warranty, except you're buying something you're gonna actually use. Whereas on a ex normal extended warranty type stuff, you buy it and it's like, I hope I use it. Well, this stuff here, I can consume these six little 2.6 ounce uh, 
containers of two-stroke oil and keep buying some more. And I've consumed, I've yacht used my extended warranty. Uh, as far as the value, I had to pay for it. So it don't get any better than that. So talk to your local hardware store, your local steel uh, representative uh, or whoever's dealer. But uh, like I said, I'm not sponsored by these guys. I'm just thrilled to death. I find thrilled to death. I finally own one, and it's exciting to have. And it is, uh, I believe it said, assembled in the USA. So I know that don't mean anything to other countries whatsoever but it means something to me here. So once again, this is a FS56RC. I'm reading that backwards in the camera. That's funny, like ambulance riding. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this helpful. Like I said, I did this right here. No bench, showing you how to get at this stuff. Uh, very serviceable piece. I am thrilled to death. The, 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 the. I am thrilled to death to own this thing. I'm not thrilled to death to use it, but I use it today. And my gosh, the power. You saw, I went through some thick stuff back there by the by the pet cemetery. And it just eats the weeds. And right there toward the end is where I let the cords get too short. And it wouldn't extend out any further. And they were inside. So I had to quickly learn how to do what I just showed you. But uh, like I said, folks, get out there and do something fun. We've got a beautiful weather out here uh, today and tomorrow. It's supposed to be gorgeous. I'm going to get some work done around this property. And uh, like I said, this is, I call this Michael's Backyard Marina, but I'm going to show you something. That's the lake. <laughs> it is a duckweed covered pond. There's not a marina here. There's no docks. I just started calling this Michael's Backyard Marina because I had a couple of boats. I had them parked out in the yard here for a few days. Uh, last uh, for a couple of years ago when I started playing around with my boats and outboards and stuff and I uh, I just started as a joke started calling it Michael's Backyard Marina so that's why I still call it that I am not an expert I am a tinkerer extraordinaire I like to tinker with just about anything I learn I go to the I go to the instruction manual if I absolutely have to I get stunk get stunk I get stuck I go to my I go to the owner's manual and I get some stuff done anyway I could ramble on because Apparently, I love to hear myself talk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, guys, get out there and do something fun. Enjoy life. Enjoy what life brings. Uh, I had some pizza for supper. And it's, it's kicking a little bit. <laughs> anyway, guys, get out there and have some fun. See you on the next video. Michael out.